You make that statement again. What? You just said that you got into journalism because of the Padyatra in Goa. Yeah, yeah. We are talking about the Nove Goa Padyatra, yeah. which was a walk through Goa over 77 days. Yeah. Uh, in in 1978, 79, 80, which year? Yeah. Around, tell us, tell us. Around that time, yeah. Tell us about yeah. it. So what happened is a group of students and uh, me, Christopher Fonseca, and others, uh, uh, Roland Martins, also, uh, Sabina Martins. Uh, Caroline, Lasso. We walked, you know, uh, entire Goa. Without any money in our pockets, hardly any clothes. We used to wear. We used to wash them and dry them and you know, move, move around. Yeah. It was a very. I mean, I mean no. The idea so was many, to collect money to the, start a cooperative run newspaper. Uh, uh, not a cooperative. The uh, objective was uh, to start a newspaper start in Kokuni. In Kokuni. And our slogan was. Uh, Kokuni Uloi, Kokuni Buroi, and Kokuni Land Sarkar Solo. Which you have to write in Kokuni, speak in Kokuni, and in the run government in Kokuni. So we collected funds, and I was very excited about this. Uh, How much you collected? About a lack of yeah, rupees, which is a lot of money yeah, yeah. in those days? Those are very big, huge money. Like, uh, like a crore it, today. Like a crore today. And I was very excited because I have my, my own personal interest in the sense that I want to be a journalist. So I told Christopher Fonseca, I want to be a journalist. In Norway, go Yeah, he said, okay. No, in Norway, go So, and I was, I, I was, I've been brought up, luckily, my parents brought me up in Kokni language. So it was not difficult really? for me. Yeah. So uh, English I learned later. I see. Yeah. So I'm really happy for that because my parents brought up. So I could talk very fluently Kokni. I see. With everybody in Goa. Unlike me, for example. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't have that English foundation. So for me, Kokni was easy. So I thought, and it was uh, in a Roman script, so I, I was keen in becoming a journalist. Having done all the work, you know, we really slogged, walking is not easy. 77 days, which yeah. parts of Goa? Entire Goa. Starting from the north? Yeah. From Perne? Uh, I can't remember now exactly because so many years now, no? Yeah. Uh, really, my memory is... Yeah, it's a yeah, long time, and you've done yeah. many. You've done many other things. Yeah, so you many. worked as a journalist in yeah. so many cities yeah, yeah, like Pune yeah, yeah. and all that. So what happened is that yeah. as at a young age, you know, I had an ambition of becoming a journalist, and then suddenly someone said, "No, uh, you're not fit to be a journalist." Who said? You can't be there. Suddenly, my own friend, Mr. Fonseca. I see. After having collected all the money, slogged around, moved around 77 days, and even the food was an issue. You know. We were breakfast. So we all used food. to just depend on donations. Whoever will give you the food. I see. Yeah, only if the villages will give the food, and uh, then only we'll eat. I see. And sometimes we had lunch uh, at around four o'clock and all. Oh gosh. Four o'clock. Yeah. yeah, because to call, to to create cater to such a large group is not easy. Yeah, no? because what used to happen also is after we reach the village, people should be excitedly welcoming us. And there will be some people doing long speeches. I see. Not realizing that we are hungry. Oh gosh. I remember one incident in Naveli that one of our Padyatri just fainted. I see. Out of hunger. I see. Yeah, he fainted. And then everybody said, yes, let's eat, let's eat. That was the thing. Oh gosh. And we couldn't stop him because the guy who was speaking, giving long speech, was a priest. Oh gosh. So, That's quite a story, yeah. I remember certain very interesting incidents that like, we had. Like, uh, like this, uh, this kind of. Uh, but uh, thanks to the Padyatra, I became a, ended up becoming a journalist. Because and it was a challenge for me. And you probably and understood a lot challenge. of Goa also, no? By so traveling. much, so much you learn about Goa that you don't, you can't get it. Uh, I took part. Sorry for interrupting. I took part in uh, Matani Saldana's Protect Water, Protect Life march. Only seven days. A lot of it by vehicle also. So it really showed us a different Goa, no? Interland. And we had one vehicle with us, Matador. And uh, we had uh, one mic there, yeah. loudspeaker, and that loudspeaker will sing or play all the Kokhani songs. I see. So, and what amounts did people give you? Small amounts? Small amounts, big amounts. You know, I see. people people really welcome. But people are wondering. That was a phase. I think people were looking to switch over to English. I English, see. Because English was a language which was a, like a passport to overseas jobs, jobs and higher education and all that. And here we are telling, like, you know, we, to keep our own identity, we need to protect our language. This was before 1987 and the Official Language Act yeah, and the yeah, movement yeah, for yeah, Kokni yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. And Whose so, idea was it? Any idea? What is it? Yeah. Christopher Munsinger. Christopher. They were the Christopher. young activist of those yeah, times, yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. Matani was a vibrant activist and uh, who really fought in the initial stages. Of course, later on, he fought, fought for the fishermen. Yeah. Uh, 
fisher people and uh, again so the pollution and yeah jewelry pollution matani people. also started the goan weekly now subsequently yeah. you were part of that yeah, i remember yeah, yeah. i was part of that that was my learning <laughs> learning uh, ground like you know, wow because uh, one thing is to have uh, excitement about being a journalist and uh, the other is to learn actually doing yeah. it because we didn't have journalism courses those days hey, correct later on i uh, i represented i wrote to uh, bombay university and they grant gave a grant to conduct a photography course photography photography journalism Public short speaking. term course yeah short term five, i remember that five day course it was somewhere yeah. in 85 84 83 yeah, 82 yeah, yeah yeah i'm not sure yeah i can't remember the exact dates but uh, the no, university mark amat and all that no no he backed out and the okay, okay, okay. see at that time i was an undergraduate and uh, people who are post graduate protested how you are making a undergraduate person a Uh, uh, coordinator for the program. I see. Yeah. Dempe College. Uh, we had it in the, uh, I think. Uh, yeah. Dempe. Oh, Salonga local. Salonga local. Somewhere in Dempe, Ramar. Yeah. So then they, uh, they gave a call to boycott because BMA ego ego issue. Uh, But we are running ahead of the issue. I know, I know that. I still have a badge from the photography classes of those years. Yeah, I see. But 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 I want to go back to Goan Weekly. Yeah. Uh, you worked under who as editor? Amrut Kasar, uh, uh, the other guy, Mailur, or who was there? No, uh, there was a vacuum there. There was no editor at that moment. Some amount okay. of time, I think. The they, the, the West Coast time. Some I, of the West Coast time people joined there, yeah, but, but they, they didn't have funds. You know, yeah. funding was a problem, big issue because the cost was very high. The paper was to be printed in uh, Welcome and got here. I see. We are printing. Uh, we are crossing the bridge at Marcel. No. Yeah. yeah. San Sevo. Other side is San Sevo. Other the behind us is San Sevo, and ahead of us is Ponda. No, San Sevo. You turn left, you go to San. Sevo. Okay. 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 This is the Kumar Jua Bridge. Kumar Jua Bridge. Kumar Jua Bridge, right? Wrong geography. Amona, 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 Amona Bridge. Sorry. So, so uh, tell us about Goan Weekly. It was a fascinating experience because uh, in those days there was only one big English paper, one big Marathi paper, and these were attempts to create alternatives, smaller alternatives. In fact, uh, when I joined in, I started writing as a kid, almost I was a teenager. We took up really one thing. Matani encouraged to keep the investigative journalism to expose the government. So expose we did good. Government. We did good stories, and I remember circulation shot up to ten to twelve. Really? Yeah. That's a lot. Ten yeah. to twelve thousand. Yeah. Although yeah. it was a weekly. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, a lot. I think was twelve thousand. I see. Yeah. And the readership was not much, you know. That time the population yeah. also was less, considering that it was a big achievement. Yeah. It was. Being a weekly, we had time to sell the paper. Once in a yeah, week. Yeah, one week. I <laughs> like a daily. The but still, the you need to write something good for people yeah. to want it. The front pages were good. The main thing is the front page. The get the get up has to be good. Although it was right. black and white, it was a it was a it was a platform for us to write. You know, whatever we we could write critical stories. There was no. There was no restriction. Let me interrupt and tell you this one story. So I was going to church one Sunday morning, and uh, just before the Saligaon church, what we saw shocked us. It was before the Ko- uh, Chogam retreat, and they had chopped one side of the coconut trees. We had a beautiful coconut tree lined avenue. They chopped one side of the coconut trees, and they were all lying vertical on the ground. Yeah. I happened to have film in those days in my camera, black and white film. I ran home, got it. Uh, photographed it, shot it, sent it to Goan Weekly. That was the only paper that carried it. I remember uh, college days. We used to come to the Goan Weekly when yeah. I and Carlos Mondeiro used to be there. Carlos was also there. We used to write there. a letter to the editor and all that. I, I was not only <laughs> for my letter to the editor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, mostly doing it in pseudonyms. Mostly doing it in pseudonyms, which which was not very pseudonymous because my friends in class knew exactly which letters I had written. Yeah, like But I remember Sally since he wrote that. So yeah, it, you know. Come there every week. I should see there coming some letter or something or other. <laughs> but I no, not so regular. I I wanted to, but you know, we were living in the village. Because you know, sometimes we were running short of letters, you know. Yeah, I was one of those busy bodies. So tell, in fact, people write some letters because we had to fill those that page. But we, I think, uh, I think these these issues are important because it tells us the history of the time yeah. and the press and the alternative press. You know, we were talking about Norway going and uh, Paul John Fernandez. Paul Fernandez, as he is now known, yeah. wrote a beautiful piece on his experience with the, with the Padyatra and with Norway going and its subsequent failure. Okay. You know. Yeah. 
I think uh, also a lot of uh, the success of this paper goes into management. It's uh, not just yes, there, are, there are three factors. We only look at the editorial part, being a journalist. Yeah, the there is also because I learned a lot this uh, when I uh, switched from uh, Indian Express to Business Standard. Nobody, nobody knew what is Business Standard. Unless you tell Business Standard, I'm okay. They should, they should think I'm doing business. <laughs> so this was you know, unknown yeah, by see. that time. Yeah. Right. So yeah, I should, under I should under ensure that, yeah, yeah, I should ensure that people, people get the newspaper. A lot of people will ask. You know, like uh, Rahul Bajaj. Uh, chairman of yeah. uh, Bajaj Auto and all, Bajaj Finance. Big his name. favorite paper was Business Standard. And his office is to call me, could he be not receive the paper? I see. So I had to ensure that I get the paper. Wow. Yeah. Because it, uh, at that point of time. Uh, he and Nainan was the editor of yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. it was quite a good paper in its heyday. Yeah, initially it was good because uh, we had a real good team, the best of journalists from all over India. Yeah. Uh, so. That once uh, that uh, from the Anand Bazaar group that time more yeah it was Anand Bazaar then later after Kotak took it went into a lot of problems because uh, probably initially the costing was not done properly a lot of cost overruns of the paper yeah which side printing staffing yeah which side the cost overruns printing side staffing side all sides all sides yeah. mostly I think uh, staffing yeah. Because high salaries because and you want to attract the best journalists, yeah, and, you know, see, they yeah. come at a price. If you want to, then you have to get journalists from Economy Times and Financial Express and other journalists yeah. for Established there. papers. Yeah. They, so, I mean, they, they, they were paying for the power plant here. This is Vedanta. 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 I see. Yeah. Samona. Samona. So they are also expanding their this lot. Uh, huh? Yeah. yeah. In each direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. After he leaves, Valpoy, He doesn't know something. No, Valpoy, he knows. Yeah, no, no, after he Valpoy. asked me, he asked me to ask okay. you. Okay, from Valpoy, I will help him. Ah, so, uh, what's last question, what is uh, your reading of the possibility of alternative press in India, in Goa today? How is it doing? Uh, is it is it I there? Think, I think, uh, considering, considering the, the kind of journalism that's happening today, we need a, we need a, Strong independent media, a free, free can media. Can it be viable? Can it be viable? It can be viable. It can be viable. That uh, if you uh, price it properly, circulate it properly, and also get get good digital. Get good. Digital. Digital. Online. Digital presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the cost of printing is very high. True. The news print is almost more than doubled over the last one True. year. True. So. As uh, the forest is like, is like getting less and less, so trees are. Yeah. So we, we can. Uh, I think the best model will be uh, print once in a month or bi monthly. But the, uh, fortunately, have on online. I see. And pay by contribution. Don't have anybody on I salary. See. Yeah, that is the starting model. We should we can be successful. Maybe crowd funded also. Yeah. Can be crowdfunded because uh, you the, 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 uh, if you focus on uh, free speech and uh, free media, and investigative stories, which ignore other people are publishing, and there's a huge scope because people are want, wanting to know what is not written. You know, the news be, behind the news. So I think the, the market market will be huge. Thanks. Considering my, my experience, what I saw uh, weekly, if you could sell 10, 12 thousand copies in, the in those 80s, days, in those days, amazing, amazing. Yeah, I think you can amazing. easily sell them now. But Matani, but we need whatever, a revenue. We need whatever, a revenue. whatever may be our, our this differences with him later on. Matani yes. had a vision and he he would push for it. He would really push. No? He was not only visionary. He was a charismatic person. Only yeah, problem with him was he couldn't like work as a team. He had he so much faith in his own ideas. No, no, he was, he had his convictions. Okay. Very good convictions. But the problem was he couldn't work as a team. Because he always uh, feared uh, that somebody may take over whatever he's doing. So that uh, insecurity, I think. Otherwise, he was completely for Goa. Yeah. No, no doubt that and he, he wouldn't allow. He also had a vision for the future. Today, I don't think he will allow any destruction of Goa. What is happening now? You know? It would have been very interesting to see what he would have done. Yeah, because with, with Bill Ruda, I don't find anybody as charismatic, as dynamic as he As outspoken and yeah, yeah. probably with a with an ability to foresee what was going to happen. Yes. Yes. What was going see, to come? When we were, I know, I found one letter recently uh, uh, last year. Selin Mehta sent me a letter. Who? Selin. Yeah. That was a type letter I had sent him. Yeah. Some trees are being cut in the forest. 
you had sent whom? To Selin Mehta. Okay. And that we have to go on, we want to have a track going to the forest to see. Is he going the right way? Yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> we turned right. We had better be on the right road. We had better be on the right road. Otherwise, we are going to reach somewhere else. I don't want to play as Sankili now. Huh? I don't want to play as Sankili. For wrong direction. Yes, yes. He knows up to Valpoi. Then I'll guide him. Normally, see, when we come, we come by Sankili. Yeah, we have to go as Sankili. It's not a 31st one. What's the time? Still in Amona? Amona? Cross Amona. Cross Amona? Sankhi. Sankhi. Amona, you can see the chimney. Okay, okay. What is this? ITI? Where is it? Where is it? School, some kind of a school. The last thing I want to say is uh, please, please. Uh, that uh, what we discussed just now about the feasibility of a uh, alternative journalism journal. Uh, no, yeah, this is a possible thing, doable thing. Only thing we need a good leadership. You can build up the team. Leadership or leadership? Leadership. Leadership. leadership will follow the, <laughs> the leadership. So, Editorial, commercial, or both? I think it is a mix of everything because without commercial, you can't survive. Unless you are going to take the full cover price, then you, you will have to. The price is very high, very high. High pricing and uh, low circulation. Okay. So I would prefer co uh, commercial and uh, go online. Be free online. True. You know, don't charge any money. Okay. And run it on donations. Crowdfunding. Pay what you wish. Yeah. I think crowdfunding is catching up very well. You know, we are doing a company dictionary with the crowdfunding. Yeah. In the process of. It. And it, it works. It works. In Arabal, uh, during the COVID time, we saved a banyandri for crowdfunding. Really? Yeah, almost three lakhs. I saw the, yeah, some videos. Yeah. I think we, I mean, we had three lakhs. We could start a newspaper. Uh, so, to so, start at least. So you all managed to uh, raise that exact amount. What you all needed? Yeah. Then people pulled in. Hello. Some people. Okay. Hi, attention. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, would you like to play a quiz? On first, uh, 